welcome back and today I'm gonna review another rig that we have available from Tim Van Domen all things animation and it's Tyler rig a really cool new rig here very affordable and remember as animation flow subscriber you have a special discount code for this rig thanks Tim for making that for us and the community but yeah so this is the rig here, this is the Gumroad page, and you can see the shot the team did here. So you can see how the rig holds up really well. And there's the Maya version of it. I think that's the part that really gets you, isn't it? The shame that he felt for you and the pride that he felt for you. So it's deforming really well, it holds up really well. And I was surprised when I opened it. Really complete rig, a lot of face control. I love the details on how the viewport has a default lighting already. And let's just go over like the basic features of it. So nice and smooth deformations, which is nice. The band bows, always good to have. Let me turn up this light for now. Actually, leave it on. And all the same old foot row controls, bending from here, bending from here, bending the toes. Nice outfit as well. The character design, pretty unique. I like it. IK spine, IK spine. One thing I personally prefer if this pivot is a little bit higher, I usually change for my shots using custom pivot from Animbot. I like when the pivot for the hips are a little bit higher, but that's just me because I know this is an IK spine, it's not actually the hips control. And if you want to change for the FK spine, there is this, um, uh, what is the name? There's a cross, kind of like a cross here. And you can change IK, FK, and your hips controller will be here. We'll be following more what it will be the anatomy of the hips. That's why I put the pivot up. And we have FK 1, 2, and 3. I personally prefer the IK spine because this FK spine deforms, like, if we think about the rib cage, the rib cage is like down here like up to here and here's the forming like right in the middle of it so i personally own rigs like this i use ik spine and then i can just rotate it here and translate it whenever i can cool we have a breathing system here which deforms really well as well it's nice to have and you can also give a scale so you can put something extra in there and whenever you include the shoulders as well that will be good global on the arms no surprising here IKFK of the arms band balls no surprise it's bending quite well the arm here how the volume holds up the hand, we have this master control. Hands are always a little tricky. And you see there's like still some stuff to be fixed in terms of the formation, but nothing too much because we shouldn't push the thumb all the way there anyway. And in general, we can get, get away pretty pretty good with this head and then let's go to the face because that's where it's important cool mouth controls really well corner we put the corner here I like how we can bring it like in and out but if you just pull to the side it creates a little bit of a volume and then we can just bring it back in so that's pretty nice and we have the minors bigger pretty cool upper lip lower lip 
the whole lower lip section, the whole mouth, also pretty nice. I squash from the lower head, just the mouth area, mouth and nose, and reverse, reverse squash, reverse FK here, upper head, and just the hair, the end of the upper head. The eyebrows, I, I really like it, it's very simple, and I like how it deforms pretty well, so we can get some nice shapes quite fast, and you can have like a nice, still like you pull just the main one and start shaping with the other ones. And I nice how I, I like how it holds up pretty well. And you can still pull this other part here. Nose. Trying to really get you see how it feels very intense. The eyes a lot of controls. Usually on feature film rigs we have a lot of controls. We don't need to use all of them but it's great to have because whenever you need to do something specific like oh, I'm gonna squint here you can really get all of this and like all of this controllers up shape it and I want to get this up here so you see how we get very intense expression here Let's put a smile down here. If I want to get this to feel thinner as well, I really like playing with the shape. I'm going to select all of this and mirror. Let's see if the anime about mirror will work. And it worked. Beautiful. I can just get this down a little bit. Yeah. And we see how we can extract a pretty good amount of appeal here with this character. Ears, a lot of rigs they forget the ears controls. So this is pretty good too. Yeah, I'm excited to animate it. I should do just like a a short test with this rig, right? Maybe I could do a stream. Yeah, if you guys comment when would be good. I could just do a stream where I'm just animating this rig. Maybe like a lip sync test or something. I think that would be cool. And no surprise here on the eye aim. Following the head, not following the head. And uh, I I didn't see the iris control yet. I believe it's here. We have a blink, auto blink, the blink height, which is great because I know the blink is always going to close properly and I can still come here and shape it. And the height, uh, water noise, water offset. Oh, eye water, that's pretty cool. It's like a eye water. Like make the character crying, emotional. That's a really cool add-on here. You can just put like an eye water and make the character crying. That would be so cool for like a very close-up facial take. Really nice addition here. That's 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 pretty cool. And I believe the iris and popular here. Yeah. So I can just get real crazy. Nice. Exaggerate a little bit this pose, but overall, rig, very consistent. Really good, affordable price, and you can extract a lot of appeal. The character is unique, and it fits a lot of dialogues. It has a good cloth setup as well. 
And if you have any feedback from it, there's something that is missing or something that you want, you can always contact Tim. I'm sure he will be happy to help. Nice that you have some cloth variation. We have a beanie. We have no hair with hair. No brows with eyebrows. No eyelashes with eyelashes. Turning off the eyes. Beard, mustache, beard length, groom, so no beard at all, mouth, uh, clothing, on, off, just more for performance, it's funny, shirt or sweater, turning off the body, belt, on and off, pants, shoes, eye water, eye speck, there's also this white speck in the eyes that you can turn on and off, pretty cool. And extra controllers for the sleeves, the body shrinking if you turn off the body, uh, cloth clothing, you can just put the body back so it doesn't intersect with the cloth pretty cool as well and if you want to see anatomy that's actually pretty cool that's very good for when you're studying face expressions I think that will be the highlight of this rig if you're studying face expressions and I have some face lectures and you can just like come here turn it on and you see where the muscle is going so yeah thanks thanks for putting that and the wireframe in case you want to see how it's deforming if everything is clean. Cool. Yeah, overall, recommend. We'll try. It's on my list for characters to try. Really cool. Thanks, Tim, for sending over and sending the discount for the community. And yeah, looking forward. Looking forward to this one. Hope you guys like it, and I'll be back with more rigs soon, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.